All right, guys, we are back with round one. Edison format at Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got two times world's competitor Jimmy Nguyen on the left playing, uh, I think, Crystal Seer Hero Beat versus myself on the right playing Pure Black Wings. So Jimmy, Jimmy's a good friend of mine. He actually was one of my teammates for the 3v3 in the Ultimate Time Wizard Tournament in Vegas earlier this year. He's playing GOAT while I was playing Edison. So who knows? Maybe we'll run it back. In the next uh, time wizard tournament, three v three in Vegas. Anyways, I I went first. Set Icarus. Jimmy Heavy's my Icarus. Summons Alias. Pokes me for nineteen. So uh, you guys can see my extra deck sleeves. Uh, I got them from uh, another YCS champion. Shout out to him, Steven Delera. There's the uh, sleeves that he gave me at YCS Sacramento. I appreciate them. They look really nice. Book of Moon sleeves. I didn't want to use them on. Uh, I don't like to use sleeves like that on my main deck. I only use them on my extra deck. All right, so my MST, Jimmy's back row, and Jimmy's debating on whether he wants to chain Spark. And he does chain Spark, wants to draw a card, probably because he can't really protect his alias. He can't really, like, stop it from... Uh, probably can't deal with, like, a me just summoning Sirocco and hitting over the alias. So now I hit him for 17. So we're at 63, 61... And pass. All right. So this is traditionally a bad matchup for Black Wings just because they can stop your summons with Hero Blast and Gemini Spark. All right. So Jimmy summons Gilman, which will trade with my Bora potentially. Jimmy doesn't play much Edison, but he got back into it recently. Glad to have him. I hope he... He decides to play some hat because he actually went to Worlds during that format. was hat format. But he doesn't have a deck yet. Some people in my locals are still working on their decks for hat, but we're still getting a lot. We had... Okay, so here he Hero Blast my Bora. So this is one of the reasons why this matchup is rough. But I'm going to finish what I was saying about hat. Our Edison locals are kind of shrinking a little bit. People are burnt out after playing Edison for a year while our hat tournaments are doing pretty well. Anyways, here comes Alias from Jimmy. Attacks for 19. We're at 40, what, 9 to 52. Now Jimmy sets one. Come on, Blizzard. <laughs> Soroko's not bad. At least I can deal with Alias. Do I have a Gale or something? Special summon Gale. So Jimmy sparks my Soroko. Oh, no, I just gave away. I have Icarus. Yep. I'm dumb. I should have just let it gone through the, to the graveyard. Unless I'm debating on Solomon. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I can't. I can't. Because he already paid the cost, so I can't. So now I just gave away I had Icarus. Great. I don't know what I was thinking there. Yeah. See, I caught myself, and then I set one. Now he knows where my Icarus is. <laughs> this is so bad. So, yeah, he drew for Spark, drew for his turn. Yeah, sometimes people think people accidentally draw, drew two, but no. He he drew for Spark and then drew for his turn. So I'm checking his grave. Oh, yeah, I think he forgot to upstart or something happened. Yeah, I'm at 52 to his 49. I have two cards. What else does Jimmy have? Hmm. Playing kind of slow there, Jimmy. Come on, man. <laughs> I did speed up the video a little bit. Okay, so he summons Alias. So he knows where my Icarus is at. This is so unfortunate. But he already used two sparks. It's like if I have I what are the odds of him having the third one? So now we're at 33 to 49. Now Jimmy sets one. Oh, I just drew Blizzard. You kind of you can kind of see it when I drew for turn. So here comes Blizzard. Blizzard effect. Target Bora. Let's see. So I could Synchro here. And if he has like a Bottomless or a Deep Prison, I can Icarus his alias away. So yes, he does bottomless, and now I'm going to chain the Icarus. Target the bottomless, target the alias. 
how many cards do I have? I think I've got like three. Oh, wow. I think Jimmy's got double miracle in his hand. So you can see Jimmy's extra deck next to his deck box. He's got Miracle Fusion sleeves. So at YCS Indy earlier this year, I had an opponent who had his whole deck in those same sleeves. And I think he was doing it kind of like a mind game. And then once I, I was like, is he playing heroes or is he just trying to trick me? And he was playing uh, Bayou Turbo. And I was like, Jesus. <laughs> Some people do that with their mats too. They'll they'll play on a mat with like a certain deck, and then. Okay, so here Jimmy summoned the the zero in defense mode. I think I preemptively flipped the torrential. And this is game. I honestly was surprised he brought it out in defense mode. I kind of just flipped torrential, but I think I was losing that game. My hand was pretty bad. So Jimmy takes game one here. Can I pull off the backdoor 2-0? Because last time I entered with Black Wings, I think was the week before this one. Or was it two weeks? No, I think it was two weeks prior to this one. Yes. It was two weeks prior. I did pretty well. I got first after Swiss, but I got knocked out in the first round in top four. All right, so I start off, again, just setting one back row. Pretty same opening to game one. And Jimmy Heavies. <laughs> heavies my heavy. See, I never, ever try to pro heavy my opponents. But this time I decide to see how it goes. And obviously they have the out. This is why I don't like to do the pro heavy. But when it works, it works. But you take this risk, as you saw here. Now I can't heavy them for the rest of the game. All right, so here I MST his D prison. I think that's one of the reasons why I was willing to set the heavy was because I had another MST. I was trying to get him to set two. Okay, so I special Cyber Dragon, normal summon Shura, hit over the Gilman for 100. Uh, do we get Gale or Bayou or Bayou? Okay, Bayou. I only play one Bayou, and I feel with Bayou... It sucks when you draw your one Bayou, but man, if you play two, you're going to see that card way more often. Is it worth playing two? I know, yeah, sometimes it comes up. But I don't think so. Yeah, I get pissed whenever I draw my one Bayou, but there's also, there's also a lot of times when I don't see it. So, Okay, so now what do we do here? We're going to synchro off with the Shura and the Bayou for Magical Android. Set one. So we know that's probably not Icarus attack. And I gained six. So we're at eight. No, we're at 69 to 8,000. Come on, Jimmy. <laughs> no. Jimmy sets. What would Jimmy set in this deck? Besides Crystal Seer, maybe he sided into Snowman against Black Wings. That is a possibility. So Cyber Dragon attacks. No, I should have hit with Android. Yeah, I should have hit with Android. I'm dumb. Okay, so we're at 36. End phase, gain six. So Jimmy drew both his Gilman, so now his Diva is dead. There's no way he plays three Gilman. No one. I've never seen it. Yep, here comes Diva, and I'm like, sure. Yeah, I don't really care. Like, I'm almost certain that you have a... Uh, no more Gilmans in your deck. You can see right there I'm laughing. <laughs> I use, I, I've tried Hero B with only one Gilman in the past. And, okay, so end phase, I dust his back row and Jimmy just concedes. Yeah, he drew really bad that game. Double Gilman, then Dead Diva. Uh, he didn't see an Alias or a Stratos, E-Call. So we are going to game three. Who will win round one? Losing round one sucks. It's hard It's hard to fight out of it, especially because now we're getting smaller numbers for Edison. Uh, a lot of the times it's four rounds of Swiss, cut the top four, and m most of the time there's one X1 who gets fifth. 
And usually it's someone who loses round one. Not always. Sometimes all the X1s get in. But yeah, a lot of the times one of the X1s doesn't make it. And that's like, it's such a bad feeling. Like, gosh dang, I went X1 and didn't make top four. <laughs> all right. So we're at 8,000 to 10,000, Jimmy, with a double upstart. So Ms. Diva. So this will be my signature mat from now on. This Yugi Epic mat. I think they sell them at the shop. These type, this mat. I could be wrong though. So he goes for Android first turn. Sets one. End phase gains six for Android. Okay. How will I deal with the Android? Hopefully I have like an MST or something to deal with his back row. Ooh, this is one of my favorite cards. Noble Winner Extermination. So I banish his book, activate... Oh, Whirlwind! <laughs> okay, yeah, this is not... I think... Now, I asked Jimmy if he played Honest in his deck, and he told me he plays one. So now I search Gale off the Whirlwind. We're going to have to Android. So now both of my monsters could run it over. Or I could go for Goyo and steal the Android. Let's see if I decide to do it. But Goyo gets punished by Honest. So you can see there, that's probably what I'm debating on. Depends on the rest of my hand. But if this Goyo goes through... If this, yeah, if this Goyo goes through, Jimmy's in big trouble, man. Let's see. You can see I'm debating on should I go for... Arm wing, should I just attack him? That's what I'm contemplating right now. So I decide to go for it. Yep, I decide to go for the Goyo, attack with Android. But you saw I thought about it. It's not like, oh, I just right away went for Goyo. I was like, I, I, I looked at my hand, and then I made a choice, and I was like, okay, I'm going gonna go, to go for the Goyo. Now, I will say this. This is kind of unfortunate for Jimmy. Would I have done this at a YCS if I didn't know? Because, like, I've watched a few of Jimmy's matches, and I'm, like, almost certain he doesn't play, uh, maybe he plays one or zero honest. But that's just the way things work at locals. Like, I know my friends, when they play against me, they know I hate Starlight Road. So if I have, like, four set, they'll heavy me without fear of Starlight Road. So I've been thinking about, st I'm going to start using Starlight Road, because I've noticed a lot of my friends do that to me when I play against them. Because they watch the videos, they know how much I hate Starlight Road. And, uh, yeah, they just sl they just slam down heavy without fear. They, they know, like, okay, you're probably going to stall on me at least. So this now you can see that I kind of did the same thing to Jimmy just because I've watched him play. And I asked him, and he told me he's only on one Honest. All right, so Goyo attacks over the Alias. Ooh, Jimmy said both sparked, and he decides to spark my whirlwind. So he's gonna take twenty-eight. I think because he has miracle fusion. Okay, so yeah, he chose. I end phase dust. That was a good play by Jimmy, setting both sparks, and now he sets one. Somewhere at 42 to 10,600. Jimmy's got Diva in his hand. Let me see how many. I got four cards. Does he have a water for a miracle yet? Yes, yeah, because he Diva, he Diva turn one. So he starts off by playing Miracle Fusion, and here comes Oppression. I like Oppression against Diva Hero B because you hit six cards. You stop three Miracles and three Divas. So, uh, yeah, I really, really like that card against that deck. All right. So maybe Jimmy should have sniped my back row instead of the Black Whirlwind, but it, would, it depends on his hand. So Goyo hit the Diva. Yeah, come on, take it, right? There's no reason not to. Yep, just take it. It's a free body that... If Jimmy gets rid of my oppression. So he summons Gilman. 
Oh, that's that was a bad draw. Now he sets a back row. Ooh, is that another extermination? Yes. Gosh, I love this card. <laughs> Some people may be surprised that I'm using two noblemen. I side him. I side them. I'm going to explain why. One thing I've noticed about Black Wings is like game. Obviously, everyone sides in triple dust against Black Wings. So kind of my, my goal is to snipe their dust before they can snipe my whirlwind or my back rows. Specifically, my whirlwind or just my normal summons in general. It just hurts really bad. Now, some people would say you should use my body instead, but I don't know. Paying 1500 is pretty bad. I guess it could be my body as well, but... What's the difference between my body and... Yeah, but you can't my body a dust tornado, that's why. So what are we debating? I guess we're debating life points here. Yeah, yeah, okay, so we're debating about life points. So it should be 42. Yeah, this is not looking good for Jimmy. I mean, he's staring down oppression. Goyo, Bora, Gilman in defense mode. Yeah, Jimmy's at 14 with like, and he upstarts me. He's got, and yeah, Jimmy concedes. So I pull off the legacy 2-0 or backdoor 2-0. Yeah, one of my friends, shout out to Juan, was telling me how come I don't say legacy 2-0 anymore. I don't know. I, I like both. I like Backdoor 2-0. I like Legacy 2-0. So, hope you guys enjoy that quick match. So, some of you guys who've been watching my channel the past few weeks have noticed the changes I've made recently. Uh, I go to three Time Wizard locals a week. And it used to be three Edison locals, but now they change it. We're only doing one Edison local and two hat locals. That's why I'm uploading all my Edison videos at 9 a.m. U.S. Central Time. And then the hat format videos go live at 1 p.m. U.S. Central Time and 6 p.m. U.S. Central Time. That's going to be the schedule. Now, if things change, I'll make a community post and let everyone know, like, if they decide to add a third format or if we go back to second Edison, which we, we, which we might. But I think from for now, we're going to have at least one hat video and one Edison video. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.